Now, rotating graphs isn't going to be the first thing you kind of really think about. Um, it seems like quite an odd idea that you would be able to rotate a graph around by an angle theta. But we've learnt from matrices that there is a general rotation matrix of cosine theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cosine theta. OK, so the idea would be, OK, well, if I've got a general pair of coordinates, x, y, and I apply this matrix to x, y, then what I would get is I would get x times cosine theta plus y sine theta, and minus sine theta times x, so minus x sine theta plus y cosine theta. So then if I wanted to, um, let's say, rotate anti-clockwise about the origin by angle pi over 2, then I could replace the theta here with pi over 2. So when theta is equal to pi over 2, what do I get? Well, the coordinates x, y would go to, okay, so make sure my calculator is in radians. So what we've got, cosine of pi over 2, okay, which is 0, and then you've got sine of pi over 2, which is 1. And so we go to y, and then minus x times sine of pi over 2, we get you minus x, and cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So your x needs to be replaced with y, and your y's need to be replaced with minus x. So we need to replace x, or and replace x's, I should say, with y's, and replace y's with minus x's. Okay? And that will enable you to rotate your graph uh, anti-clockwise about the origin by the angle pi over 2. Now, this kind of opens up any angle you want. OK? So any angle you want, you could do that. Now, for the AQA Further Maths course, you are limited to just rotations by pi over 2 pi and 3 pi over 2. OK? So they're the only ones you would need to be able to deal with. Um, and rather than use the general form rotation matrix, personally, I like to think of it as going back to your simple 1001 kind of diagram that we worked with a lot when we were looking at matrices to see what they did with transformations. If you want to rotate round, OK, then this point, let's say that's your x, will go to y, because it's going onto the y-axis. So x's become y's, and your y's go to minus x's. OK, so you can just kind of like visualise it on this diagram here, rather than have to substitute into the rotation matrix. So if we want to rotate by an angle of pi... So this point, our x, is going to go over here to minus x. And our point here, y, is going to go down here to minus y. So to do this, we replace x's with minus x's and replace y's with minus y's. And if we want to do 3 pi over 2, then our x is going to go all the way around here to this point, which is minus y. And y is going to go all the way around here to x. So we would replace x, or x's, 
with minus y's and replace y's with x's. OK, and so if we follow these rules, that will enable us to rotate graphs uh, around by pi over 2 pi and 3 pi over 2 anti-clockwise about the origin. Just so you're clear, this is the general way of considering your rotations of graphs. Obviously, if the question said rotation by 90 degrees clockwise, that's the same as a rotation anti-clockwise by 270, or rotation clockwise by pi over 2, rather, is the same as a rotation anti-clockwise by 3 pi over 2. Okay, So you could uh, just do it that way round. But these are the three types that you need to be able to deal with.